Come on in, everybody. I'm looking for my remote control. Yeah, did you, can you tell my desk is messy? Turn it on that. Let's see what song we can come up with this, this afternoon. We did Why Not Today already. Let's see. I think we'll do something fun from Eric. Boy, it's a woman's world. Get in here. This is a funny song. A man was put here on this earth to give. He started back when God took Adam's rib. He made the prettiest thing alive. And the beginning of our two <laughs> Oh, Adam must have been charmed by Eve. The day she picked the apple from my tree When she winked at him and said, come on The temptation must have been too strong Ever since it's been a woman's world And I had permission to play that song because I was a producer. Oops. I was a producer on that album. It's the Why Not Today album by Eric Dodge. And he named the album after one of our songs, Why Not Today. And he sings it wonderfully and we love it. Anyway, folks, this morning's this morning show was amazing. If you haven't watched this morning show, this morning show, I came up with an idea when I was dabbing tears how to make a mask out of a pink rag because it's you know how how uh in the three bears it was too big or too little but that was just right well 
the little six by six pink rag is just right. Not perfect. I'm not going to say perfect. You know, I'm never going to say the word perfect, but it is just right. And let me show you what I did. I have an example here for you. I took a pink rag and sewed the corner, sewed this corner together. Just did a little stitch right there. And then, excuse me, <coughs> I got a tickle in my throat. And then I took some hair scrunchies like I keep on my water bottle. In fact, I had to steal them off my water bottle. L just little bungee cords, little tiny bungee cords. And sewed them on the other two corners. And then I thought I'll go one better. And I took a paper towel and folded it like an envelope. Folded it like an envelope and slid it right in the middle. It's hard to do, not hard to do, but to show you and do it. And there you have it. And then you take one and put it over your ear. And I got to pull my earring out. There, we're going to put my earring through. And it's just going to loop over my ear like such. And watch this. There you have it. My pink rag mask. It's hard to adjust looking at the camera. <laughs> but there it is. I have a mask. We only had two or three in the house from our emergency kit. But Robert won't wear the pink. But I can make him one out of a silver one. Just that easy. So easy and if you've got little girls in the house you got these and you don't need elastic but if you have elastic that works too you're smart you know how to do this we can get it done yep so today starts the hot melt sprint I told you I was going to talk about that this week Leanne at four o'clock today she is cooking she's cooking salmon with a mustard sauce yum I wish I was going to her house for dinner we miss having dinner together we really do so we can't wait for this flu to run its course you know flu runs its course every year it really does and it's it's hard it's been hard on all of us but we're gonna get through this we're going to get through this with flying colors and we're going to come out the other side stronger than ever. Stronger than you could ever believe. And Leanne says it's a Dijon mustard sauce. Oh my goodness, that sounds so good. So folks, go sign up for, for the Sprint. SavingDinner.com forward slash Sprint. And I posted a little video that I made from... Uh, from this morning show on how I came up with the idea. While y'all were watching, you came up with the idea. Let me get something right over here. So Lee and I, Leanne and I are body clutter buddies. We have been body clutter buddies for a better part of 15, 20 years. And... Sometimes it just takes a buddy to say, okay, I've been eating too many carbs. You know, it, we're in the apocalypse and 
we're just going to eat what we've got. Well, you know, it's people who are diabetic that are having issues, people who are overweight that are having issues with this virus. We need to get a handle on our sugar levels. We need to get a handle on our, our weight. And sometimes it's this wake up call that says, okay, it's time. It's time to flip the switch. You know, none of us get motivated to clean a toilet. My sister was talking to me about this earlier today. Uh, a lot of people are feeling depressed and we have to get control. We have to get control of our own selves. And we have to do it in such a way that is, is good for our bodies. We have to be strong and we have to fight. We have to fight to, to stay alive, yeah, because the alternative is six feet under. You know, nobody gets motivated to clean a toilet, but if you're depressed and you're looking for somebody to motivate you, <laughs> you're going to stay depressed because the only person that can motivate you is you. It's you. I don't know who's sending me all, all ugly things, but that's not nice because I'm trying to do things to help you right now. So let's take some time today to accept who we are, let go of the negativity. What is somebody saying here? She did not call it flu. It was a comparison to battling something. Oh, well. Well, folks, I'll get on my soapbox. You want me on my soapbox? Hmm. Yeah, I can get on my soapbox. This is a virus. A flu is a virus. It's not bacterial. It's a virus. We've all had viruses. There's an A strain and a B strain that comes out of China every year. It starts there and makes its way around the world. And it comes out of China because they sell food in these wet markets that have animals on top of animals. And this disease jumps from animal to animal and then to human. So deal with it. It comes out of China and it has attacked the whole world. The whole world. And you put the blame where the blame belongs. Now. How, what are we going to do with it? We're going to wear our mask. We're going to do what we need to do to protect our families and protect the other people in our lives. That's all we can do. It's here. It's, you know, but nobody realizes, nobody realizes how many people every year die from influenza. I've been knowing this for the past 20 years because I've researched it. I've been all over the CDC where, website and you can see it too. Some years there are 200,000 people who die from just influenza. I think that happened in 2018. We had 2,000 people around the world who died from influenza. We're going to have hundreds of thousands of people get this COVID-19. We can't ha a virus that spreads before you even have symptoms. That's what's happening here. And that's why wearing a mask, whatever kind of mask you choose to wear, wearing a mask is going to protect you from everybody else, especially if you don't know that you're contagious. We had a nursing home over in Hendersonville. Tw this is 20 miles from me. 23 people have the coronavirus. COVID-19, they have the coronavirus. Because somebody went in there, probably a person who works there, and, and helped these people get dressed and spread it. They didn't even know they were sick. 
So if we leave our house with a mask on, we're helping others. Because before it's all over with, we're all going to have it. My son thinks he had it. He's acting like he hasn't had it. But he thinks he had it last December. He thinks he had it last December. California right now is surviving well through this pandemic. And you want to know why? They think that 30 to 40% of their people have already had this virus and they didn't panic. Imagine that. Nobody panics over the flu. Liz's kids had influenza B three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. They got tested and they had the B virus. My granddaughter and my daughter-in-law had the B virus. They were sick. Last December, Justin got tested for the flu and it wasn't flu. They didn't know what it was, but it wasn't flu. So I can't wait till we get the blood test. A year ago in April, I got so sick and it takes years for this thing to circle around the world. I got so sick I couldn't go to my sister's wedding. I can't wait till they have the blood test where you prick your finger and you can see if you have any antibodies. I can't wait to see if I've had it. It was the sickest I'd ever been. And I'd been sick before. But it was the sickest I had ever been. And it hit me just like that. Justin said the same thing happened to him. But I didn't go out in public. I, I didn't go out while I had fever. I didn't go out in public. I stayed away from everybody. I stayed away from everybody. Even the preacher that married my sister and her husband was sick that night. So there's no telling how long this virus has been out there. There's no telling. So folks, I'm on my soapbox. It's tea time. Drink up. But the only way we're going to stop it from spreading is to stay home. Be happy we're home. I mean, it's not like it's a winter storm and we don't have electricity. We have electricity. We have everything we need. And we're home with our family. So that is a blessing. We're not separated from our families. I can't see my sister-in-law and her husband. They were going to be on a trip for the whole month of March. But they got to come home. They got to come home. They were on a cruise for two weeks. And then they were going to be in Spain and go to Germany. And they couldn't do that. As soon as they got off the cruise, they hightailed at home. It took some doings. And God helped. Got them a flight that had, wasn't even on the books and got them home. <clears throat> so, and we've been talking about this virus. I know we've talked about it way more than I like to talk about anything like this. But we've been talking about it since... January. That's when Pastor Andrew's daughter, Esther, was in China teaching and she got this virus. She got it and she survived it. She survived it. And then she eventually, by the middle of February, she got back to Tanzania where she lives. So folks, we've been talking about this and she was forced, forced in to fasting through this, through this virus. Forced into fasting because she had no food and she couldn't leave her home. And she was too sick. She had gone to the hospital via an ambulance, but they sent her right home. They sent her right back to her apartment. And she had no food. No food. So she was forced into fasting. And what I kept telling her is, honey, drink. Just drink all the liquids you can. Get into hot showers. Cough this stuff up. Cough it up. Cough it up. And in five or six days, her fever had broken and she was on, her, on the road to recovery. And in two more weeks, she had quarantined two weeks after she got to feeling better. And in two more weeks, she was able to come home. 
We're blessed that she wasn't put in some grave somewhere, never to be seen again. We're blessed. Totally blessed. So folks, be thankful you don't live in China. Be thankful you live in the United States of America, those of you who do, and the countries you live in. Because we don't know the truth about what happened in China over this stuff. We don't. And this, this video will probably get, get uh, flagged for some reason, but I don't care. You, those of you listening to me hear it. We live in a free country, and all, right now all of our rights are taken away. The only right we have is to stay home, go to the drugstore. They don't even want us going in the drugstore. And to, to nurses and grocery store workers to go to work essential people. So folks, we are blessed to be in the United States of America. Those of you who live here, we're going to get through this. And while I'm on my soapbox, I might as well just finish off with one thing we found today. There are people who think plagiarizing and stealing my life's work is okay. Even during a pandemic, it is not okay. It is not okay. There are apps on iTunes and uh, the marketplace that aren't Fly Lady. They say they are, but they're not. There are things in other places. We've seen things on eBay and on Etsy. You know? People who think they can steal your life's work, they're about as low as they can get. Because I give it away. I give so much away for free. Every single day for free. There are control journals all over our control journal section of our website. That's free. Why somebody would want to steal what I have work so hard to give you. I don't know. I don't have a clue. I printed it out. I went and bought it just to see what it was. And the more I read, the madder I got. How dare somebody do that? How dare them? And evidently they had to be a fly baby to do it. So that's why I'm telling you. One of them even used my cartoon character. My Fly Lady cartoon character. They used it. So, folks, I give it away to you every day. I, I spend hours every single day doing things for you. And why somebody would steal that, I don't know. But it's really sad. It's really sad that someone thinks they can get away with it because they're not going to get away with it because all I got to do is report it and it's being reported right now and their little business of thievery is going to go away and they're going to be banned from the platform they're on because they're thieves. You wouldn't, you, if a thief is somebody that comes into your domain and steals from you. Well, when you steal intellectual property, that's what the Chinese do all the time. When they steal intellectual property, they try to get by with it. And you know, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. So stealing something that somebody has given their heart to, to bless you. I never set out to have a business, ever. All I set out to do was help one person. One person, and then my sister Patty said, Sister, why don't you write a book? And I said, I give it away, sister. I don't know why I need to write a book. Oh, people want to hold a book in their hands. They want to hold a book in their hands. So in two weeks, I wrote a book. And we sold a book. I didn't want to sell a book, but we did. And it got picked up by Random House. And then Leanne and I wrote Body Clutter together and it got picked up by Simon and & Schuster. And then I wrote the 31 Baby Step book. 
Our team put this book together from things I had written. And this is an amazing book. And the person who, who stole this stuff from me said she couldn't get through the 31 Baby Step book. In her writing, she said she couldn't make it through it. And I just gave up at that point. I couldn't read any more of the crap she'd written. So somebody too lazy that can't do this. Anyway, say a prayer for Boris Johnson. He's in the ICU. Yep, say a prayer for him. That's the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. So folks, I've been on my soapbox a long time. Let's drink. Sometimes you got to vent. Sometimes you just have to vent. You can't let things well up inside you. You just can't do it. One time Robert had a chainsaw and he kept working on this chainsaw and working on this chainsaw and it just, it would hit a few licks and then it wouldn't do anymore. And he finally, he had worked on it and worked on it and worked on it till he just finally said, I'm not having anything in my life that's not going to work. And you know what he did? He took that chainsaw out into the woods and he beat it against a tree to where it was never, ever going to work again. <laughs> and I'm thinking, wow, I wouldn't do that. But that's what he had to do. That's what he had to do. That's what we girls have to do. Sometimes we have to call up our girlfriend and say, I can't believe this happened. I can't believe. We got to vent. If we don't vent, think about your one pot. You can't open that one pot up unless you vent it or it's going to explode. That's what's going to happen to us if we don't vent. A lot, I can't even keep up with my comments. They got stuck. I don't know where the comments are anymore. There's so many of them. Y'all just blowing it up. <sighs> so venting is good for us. Call up a girlfriend. Get on FaceTime with a girlfriend. If you need to vent, if your family's driving you nuts, Go outside, get away from them so they can't hear you, and vent. And then it'll all be better. Leanne and I were texting each other, and we needed to vent. We needed, we needed to know each other had each other's back. Because we're starting on this sprint. We're going to get through this, folks. We can't let our attitudes change the love that's inside of us. We have to release the stuff that's bad. I had a girlfriend last night who set up a new profile on Facebook and she had had some issues with some family members and she just needed to divorce herself from these family members. She was done. She was totally done. And she she sent me a message wanting to let me know where her new profile was going to be. And I said, good for you. This, it takes courage to separate yourself from people who are pulling you down. And we got a month of staying home. So let's take care of ourselves. Let's vent when we need to. Call our friends up. Go sit in a sunbeam and vent. Just vent and then go inside and cook dinner and cook a healthy dinner. And you've got to learn what you can eat and what you can't eat. I love you all. I will talk to you in the morning at 11 o'clock and I'll be all better then because I'll have had my me time with my cup of tea and we can get through this. We, we really can. Oh, my sister Patty has a bird at her house too. It's a blue bird. I've got a red bird. She's got a blue bird. <laughs> and you know what upsets her? It's peeing on, it's pooping on the side of her house. So, wow. She got a blue bird and I've got a red bird. But I haven't seen the red bird today. I think I heard it earlier. She's afraid her bluebird's going to kill itself because it's 
It's reflection that it's seeing. Y'all, go outside and look at a bloom. I got dogwoods blooming. I got peonies that are getting ready to pop open. I've got trillium. Wild trillium blooming in my yard. Beautiful flowers. And I get to see them every day. I get to walk around in my yard, get some sunbeams, go sit on the front porch and rock for a little while. We can do this. Maybe I'll do tomorrow's tea time outside. Won't that be fun to have tea time with uh, tea time with a view and some wind chimes? And if you li watch my little uh, pink rag video, my pink rag video has wind chimes in it. You can hear them. So go sit in a sunbeam. Have a good rest of the day. Love you all. Bye.